Welcome everyone, this is your boy Joanna Matsuro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weeds GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video now this video is all about on how to install enable all interiors inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder so like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below once you have completed that, this mod does require Lemon UI, so make sure that you download Lemon UI and I will leave this inside my description below. Now once you have finished downloading all of your files, go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now really important, make sure that you go to your scuttlev.net.ini file, double click and make sure that you change your reload key to insert. Next, go to your scripts folder. If you don't have one, make sure that you do create a scripts folder and make sure that it is all lowercase and spelt correct. Open up your scripts folder. Now as you can see, my scripts folder is completely empty. So let's get started. Open up your Lemon UI Extract folder, then go to your SHVD2 folder and select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Go back to your Extract folder, then go back to your Main folder. This next step is optional, but open up your SHVD3 folder and select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your Extract folder. Open up your EAI extract folder, then go into this folder, then go to this folder. Now all you got to do is select all the files except for the text files. Then drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and i'll see you guys in the game and now we're back in the game so as you can see it did freeze when you go in the game don't worry about that so once you're in the game okay go to your phone then go to your contacts then go right down to the bottom and you'll see enable interiors now once you have called that number then go to change and interior now with these okay you can enable any of these okay it's totally up to you but i'm going to leave everything as default and the most important thing that you must do is go to misc options and then now go to load mp maps now change that to true and now go to enable blips and change that to true now this next step is optional but go to random color blips and change that to true. Now let's get back out. Now we're going to unlock the contract uh, building. So go to the contract and now I'm going to change this to true, 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 true. Any one of them. Okay, make sure it is all true. Now once you have finished with all your settings, then go to refresh interiors, then now back out of your menu now go on your keyboard and press insert now your game will freeze for only a few seconds 
and now you'll get that wanted level cleared. Now, let's go and test this mod inside a building. And now we are at the Life Invader. Now, usually you cannot go in here, but only in the missions you can, as Michael. So when you come in here, you can actually go in the building, and now you can actually go upstairs. Now, inside here, okay, is another door. Now, with this door, sometimes you cannot go out the door, like this, see? You cannot go out, but the only way to go out of that door is if you're using menu, press F9, then now just hover over the door, right click, and change this to dynamic. Now let's go back and now walk out the door. Now when you go to the door, as you can see, it's blocked, but just walk through it, and then now uh, it's right there. So that is how you guys can use the mod for this building. Now let's go and test out another building. And now we are at our second location. Now the location that we are at is one of the contract business DLCs, okay? We are at this location over here. Now the only problem with this mod, okay, is that it won't give you access to the DRC buildings, okay? Just like the contract and the uh, the nightclub and even the maze bank you cannot have access to those buildings but if you want access to those buildings you will actually need to install the tbmp mod okay and now that mod was developed by hkh191 there is one way you can actually get into the building without using the mod is by pressing f9 only if you're using menu then now click on your character and now go flying upstairs okay just go fly there you go and now just land right there you press f9 again and now you're inside the building which is pretty cool and yeah you can just just go around if you want to but if you want to actually interact with the computers or interact with all of the other nice things inside the building you'll need to install the tbmp mod okay now i will be doing a tutorial about that mod very soon so stay tuned so i hope you guys do enjoy the mod and now we are back again so i hope you guys do enjoy that mod but like always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. So but that is it. If you guys do enjoy this video or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.